it going everyone? I'm Game Master 648 and I'm gonna be reacting to 10 Dumbest Mistakes of All Time by Top Trending. I did do the video of this called 10 Real Life Deaths Caused by Video Games and yeah, the stuff like that. And yeah. My biggest mistake. We gifted a Christmas present to this, the person who gave it to me the previous year. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, never do that. We are, now we all know that making mistakes is like being human, but sometimes these mistakes really are bad sometimes. They could be dumber or the stuff that go bad if it's not like you being human or not. I don't know why. So yeah, anyways guys, let's get into this. 3, 2, 1, play. Oh, and by the way, I don't know why there's a nuclear explosion in the thumbnail. Probably someone mistakenly set off a bomb like that, which was the dumbest mistake. I don't know why. But seriously, that's not good. I haven't seen this video yet. I've seen a little bit. After this, I'm, I am going to react to five small mistakes that changed the world by top trending. I haven't seen the whole thing. I've seen a little bit of it. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, let's get into this. 3, 2, 1, play. Ronald Wayne was one of three co-founders for Apple back in 1976. Yes, that Apple. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak were 21 and 25 at the time. So Mr. Wayne, who was in his 40s, would act as the adult supervision for the group. He would be in charge of contracts, agreements, manuals, and even drew Apple's first logo. But after only about two weeks, Ronald backed out of the deal and sold his part of the company back for $2,300. He was afraid of... Wait a moment. I'm back. Let's continue watching this video right now. The boy's inexperience and lack of business savvy. He knew that if things were to go bad for Apple, that he too would be liable and hounded by creditors. Of course, we all know that Apple sales skyrocketed in the coming years and is now worth about $700 billion. If he still had 10% stake in the company, Wayne would be one of the world's richest people. Now 81, he sells stamps and rare coins out of his home to supplement his monthly social security check. Oh, dang. Somebody forgot to put the correct cap back on the gas valve and caused a deadly explosion. Piper Alpha was once Britain's largest oil rig, producing 30,000 barrels of crude a day. Due to a lack of communication between the shift change, some staff members were not aware that one of the pipes was sealed with a temporary cap after a safety check. Gas leaked out and ignited the entire facility. What is now known as the Piper Alpha disaster, 167 workers lost their lives. It is considered the world's deadliest oil rig accident. The fire raged on for three weeks until it was finally able to be subdued. The cleanup Cost and monies awarded to the victims' families racked up to $3.4 billion. Oh, dang it. In 2005, a Japanese brokerage firm made a typo on a stock trade that caused havoc on the Nikkei Index, which is a form of the stock market in Japan. Mizuho Securities, a division of Japan's <laughs> second largest bank, lost over $225 million in one day because of a typing error. Instead of selling one share of a recruiting company's stock for 610,000 yen, which is roughly $5,000 American, the firm sold 610,000 shares of the company for one yen apiece. And that's less than a penny each. Even after trying to cancel the order three times, the Tokyo Stock Exchange adhered to their strict policy of not allowing cancellations after transactions are finalized. The trade pretty much wiped out all of the company's profit from the previous year. Since the incident occurred, safety measures have been put in place to help prevent fumbling fingers from making this mistake again. 
In mid-2014, French railway operator SNCF ordered 2,000 new trains for their railway system. Amazingly, someone forgot to double-check the measurements, so they received trains that were too big for the stations. SNCF spent $68 million on reconstructing 1,300 platforms so that the new trains could fit on the track. When placing the order, they measured platforms that were built within the last 30 years, but they overlooked the fact that many of France's stations were built more than 50 years ago when trains were a little slow. The width of the trains were just inches too long on both sides, which of course would cause the trains to get stuck at some of the stations. It was also discovered that at one point in the track, two opposing trains could have collided with each other due to their size. Yeah. A Yellow Pages misprint in 1988 put a woman out of business. Gloria Quinnen was the owner and sole proprietor of Banner Travel Agency. To help expand her growing business, she decided to put an ad in the phone book. The ad was supposed to read, Exotic Travel Services. Instead, a typo made it read, Erotic Travel Services, causing a flurry of inappropriate phone calls and a loss of 80% of her business. After the ad was placed, she would get obscene phone calls from people wanting to go on sexually themed vacations. One guy even asked her where he and his four naked lady friends should travel to. Quinnen successfully sued for $10 million, citing mental anguish and physical distress. In the fall of 2003, a lost hunter intentionally wow, started a large fire near San Diego County Estates. The flames were too much for him to handle and quickly raged out of control. When the man was rescued, he admitted that he started the fire as a signal for help. The fire spread and became the largest recorded fire in California's history. The disaster, now known as the Cedar Fire, destroyed close to 300,000 acres, over 2,300 homes, and killed 15 people over a five-week period. Most of the people who died were unaware of the impending danger. Some of the victims were killed in their cars while trying to escape the blaze. In one of the homes, the charred bodies of three young ladies were found huddled in a bathtub. The hunter, Sergio Martinez, was only sentenced to six months in a minimum security prison and only ordered to pay $9,000 in restitution. In 2004 in Siest, Denmark, an employee at a fireworks factory accidentally dropped a small box of fireworks. As it mistakenly slipped from his hands and hit the ground, the friction from the drop ignited the contents inside of the box and caused a fire. Firefighters rushed to the scene and thought that they were only dealing with a small container fire. But they were sorely mistaken as fireworks started streaming from the facility. The firemen had to flee to site because the flames couldn't be contained. The factory's entire supply of fireworks ignited, causing a massive explosion. Oh. One firefighter died, 17 people were injured, and over 500 people were left homeless. The aftermath of the incident left charred neighborhoods and vacant businesses. One small firecracker cost $100 million in damages. The Pepcon plant, located in Henderson, Nevada, was a plant that was in charge of producing a key component in rocket boosters. In 1988, a fire broke loose because of a couple of careless welders. A spark landed on a stash of plastic 55-gallon drums housing the explosive components. The chemicals were supposed to be stored in high-grade aluminum containers, but at the time, the company had an overstock of components. So instead of ordering more containers, they decided to store them in flammable polypropylene barrels. The Explosions oh, killed no. two people, injured 372 others, and caused an estimated $100 million of damage. The two men that were killed in the disaster were both handicapped individuals, unable to escape the explosions in time. In 1992, the Mexican city of Guadalajara was rocked with a series of underground gasoline explosions. The incident killed 252 people and left 15,000 others homeless. Damages amassed to over $750 million. Buildings and streets in a five-mile radius were demolished by the blast, leaving 20-foot deep trenches all over the city. The explosions were caused by an unidentified independent contractor. He mistakenly installed zinc-coated iron water pipes next to an existing steel gas gasoline pipeline. The underground humidity caused these materials to create an electrolytic reaction that eventually caused the gasoline pipe to corrode. It created a hole in the pipeline that permitted gasoline to leak into the ground and into the city's main sewer system. People complained to the city's officials that their toilets and sinks smelled funny. Two days later, the underground explosions began. In 1998, NASA scientists lost contact with a $330 million satellite because they used the wrong measuring system. The Mars Climate Orbiter was supposed to fly around Mars and study the weather and climate patterns of the planet. NASA hired a subcontractor, Lockheed Martin, to help build the orbiter. Lockheed used the English measurements of pounds instead of the metric units of newtons and NASA didn't know. 
the spacecraft floating around Mars mistakenly went into orbital insertion due to a ground-based computer software sending the wrong measurements. This miscalculation caused the satellite to fly straight down into Mars' orbit, causing it to pass through the upper atmosphere and disintegrate. Okay, that's it for 10 dumbest mistakes of all time. Hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. I'll do the five small mistakes that change the world react video I'll be doing. And yeah, so that's it for this, people. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later, and goodbye.